Hello everyone, welcome to Spec eLearn, the online learning channel dedicated to chemical engineers. Liquid ring vacuum pump. In this video, you will learn applications of liquid ring vacuum pump, the working principle and its characteristics, vacuum pump system and selection of sealing liquid. Please subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you will motivate us to produce more knowledgeable video content for you. So please subscribe now before you forget. Liquid ring vacuum pump. From the application point of view, liquid ring vacuum pumps are largely used in vacuum distillation columns to create and maintain vacuum or sub-atmospheric pressures. Those who are aware of vacuum distillation must have knowledge and understanding of liquid ring vacuum pumps. Before you take a dive into the main subject, take a minute to understand the importance of vacuum distillation. Distillation at higher pressure means distillation at higher temperature. High temperature has potential to degrade temperature sensitive products and make it difficult to produce products that need stringent quality specifications such as color and odor. Vacuum distillation provides an effective method to reduce operating temperature and prevent decomposition of heat sensitive products. In refineries, vacuum distillation permits heavy hydrocarbons boiling point greater than 450 degrees centigrade to be separated without the fear of partial thermal cracking into less desirable products such as coke. The higher the vacuum, the lower the temperature at which the gas oil co-mingled with tar will vaporize. In petrochemical and fine chemical industries, several heat sensitive products are produced. The final product purification is always carried out under the high vacuum to restrict the temperature so that decomposition of the product is prevented. For the distillation column, to work under sub-atmospheric pressure or vacuum, you need to reduce the pressure or pull vacuum in the column. How do you produce vacuum? To produce vacuum, you have to evacuate the distillation column and its associated equipment like reboiler, reflux drum and piping. The air and non condensable in the system gets removed in this process and you can achieve the level of vacuum that is desired. One of the most widely used methods used for pulling vacuum is by use of liquid ring vacuum pump. This figure illustrates a vacuum pump connected to a distillation system. Note that the liquid ring vacuum pump is connected to the flux drum because it serves to remove the non condensables and vapors from the reflux drum at sub atmospheric pressure, compresses it, and discharges it to atmosphere. The liquid ring vacuum pumps are compressors 
when compressing gases or vapors, the liquid ring gas pumps work as positive displacement compressor. What is appearing on the board are pictures of single stage liquid ring vacuum pump and two stage liquid ring vacuum pump. Let us understand the internal parts and working principle of liquid ring vacuum pump with a sketch now. Illustrated in this figure are the important parts of liquid ring vacuum pump. A liquid ring pump has an impeller with blades attached to a center hub located in a cylindrical body but offset from the center. Note the casing or the pump body is eccentric with the impeller hub. The impeller sits between two end plates called port plates which have shaped holes cut into them called ports. The light blue shaded area is suction port. The dark blue shaded area is a discharge port. The red colored dot shown at the center is a sealing liquid inlet port. Now let us move on to understand how the liquid ring pump works. In the figure shown, the pump is in ideal condition, that is it is not working. The pump is partly filled with sealing liquid shown in brown color. Sealing liquid fills the casing roughly 50% and remains at the bottom. The blades near the top of the pump are closer to the outside wall than at the side of the pump. The bottom end of the impeller blades are immersed in the sealing liquid. When the pump starts, the impeller slings a liquid sealant by centrifugal force to the outside walls of the body, forming a ring of liquid at the outside walls of the body. Because the impeller is offset from the body, some of the blades are fully immersed in liquid and some are almost out of the liquid. The area of white space without liquid is sealed off between the liquid and hence the term sealant and between the impeller blades called an impeller cell. The upper inner surface of the ring is just tangent to the hub of the impeller. The lower inner surface of the ring just in contact with the top of the blade. Because of the centrifugal force, the liquid ring formed has the same thickness as the shape of the pump chamber. As observed in the figure, the space formed between the hub and the liquid ring of the impeller is divided into several small cavities or cells equal to the number of blades by the impeller. Observe closely this figure. The volume of the small chamber gradually increases from small to large as the impeller rotates and the pressure decreases. When the impeller reaches the suction port, the pressure has reduced to just below the pressure in the suction vessel and the gas starts flowing into the cavities or cells through the suction port. When the suction is completed, the cell is isolated from the suction port. The volume of the cell is gradually decreasing as the impeller continues to rotate, as you can see in the figure. The gas is getting compressed and the pressure starts to increase until it reaches the pressure in the discharge port, which is close to 
atmospheric pressure. When the umbrella reaches the discharge port, the gas from the cell is discharged. During the continuous operation, the process of section, compression and discharge is continuously carried out, thus achieving continuity. What causes the suction and compression in the liquid ring vacuum pump? We have seen how expanding and contracting pump chamber has achieved the suction and compression of gases and vapors. As we follow one umbrella cell from the top of the pump counterclockwise, you can see the liquid recedes from the center hub acting as a liquid piston to create a larger cell. This is the suction of the pump drawing in air, gases or vapors through the inlet port at the sides of the imbala. After impeller cell passes the inlet port and travels toward the discharge port, the sealant liquid is forced back toward the center hub of the impeller, creating the compression step. As the impeller cell passes the discharge port, the compression is at its highest and the gases along with some of the liquid sealant are exhausted through the discharge port to atmosphere. The above sequence of operation of the pump described the cycle of a single stage pump. So in one revolution we have suction, pulling vacuum and compression back to atmosphere. This figure illustrates the working of a liquid ring pump on a PV diagram. Two stage vacuum pumps are designed to operate at vacuum levels higher than 20 inches of mercury vacuum. A two-stage liquid ring vacuum pump is just to two of these operating in series. So the discharge of the first stage goes into the suction port of the second stage. Two-stage pumps have better efficiency at higher vacuum levels, typically higher than 23 inches HD vacuum than a single-stage pump. Role of service liquid The liquid ring pump needs a service liquid, also called sealing liquid, for it to function. It is a service liquid that gets the energy from the rotating imbeller and uses the same to compress a vapor or gas from the suction pressure to the discharge or atmospheric pressure. What are the specific operating and quality specification parameters for the service liquid? The service liquid parameters to be considered include pressure, temperature, flow rate and quality. We will discuss the specification parameters of the sealing liquid one by one. First, the pressure. The service liquid is supplied through the service liquid connection 
at a pressure usually equal to or slightly lower than that at the vacuum pump discharge nozzle. Temperature The service liquid flow and its temperature will affect the pump performance. Higher the temperature, higher the vapor pressure. Vapor formed from the liquid will reduce the pump capacity. Flow rate Low service liquid flow will decrease the pump capacity. High service liquid flow will increase absorbed power by flooding the pump. Quality of service water Hot service water will generate lime buildup inside the pump. The severity of the deposit will vary with the water temperature. Hence, soft water is usually preferred. Characteristics and liquid ring vacuum pump system Liquid ring vacuum pump characteristics is represented in a plot of vacuum versus capacity. Shown here is a characteristic curve of a liquid ring vacuum pump. As the vacuum increases, the capacity decreases. The theoretical capacity or inlet volumetric flow rate of a liquid ring gas pump working as a positive displacement compressor is given by Q theoretical equals to Vc times N. where QTH is a theoretical inlet volumetric flow rate in cubic feet per minute. Vc is the volume of the impeller cells in cubic feet. N is the revolution in RPM. Unlike other rotary pump, the liquid ring pump is not a standalone pump. It is a package. This figure illustrates a vacuum pump package. The gas or liquid mixer discharged from the vacuum pump flow to a separator. From the separator, the liquid can be sent out to ETP or can be reused as a service liquid. Usually, the liquid is recycled back because of cost factor. Depending upon the vacuum required, the service liquid will vary, also its cost. Due to gas compression, there is a rise in temperature. Hence, if the liquid has to be recirculated to the pump, it has to be cooled before it is recycled. How to select the right sealing liquid? Sealing liquid is an important part of the liquid ring vacuum pump package. It transmits the energy from the rotating imbuller to compress the gas and vapors. Water, low vapor pressure organic liquids and oils are generally used. To select the right sealing liquid, you should have an understanding of the effect of sealing liquid on the vacuum pump performance. The actual capacity of the liquid ring gas pump is influenced by the vapor pressure of the sealing liquid. As the vapor pressure of the sealing liquid increases, the actual capacity decreases because the pump also has to handle the vapors formed. Since the vapor pressure is dependent on the temperature, the temperature of the service or sealing liquid has direct influence on the capacity reduction factor and hence on the gas handling capacity of the liquid ring gas pump.
the actual capacity Q actual will increase when the service liquid with the low vapor pressure is used. When the pump uses a high vapor pressure service liquid, the actual capacity will decrease. Hence, for high vacuum applications, low vapor pressure liquids such as organic liquid or oil are preferred. Among the low vapor pressure liquids, liquids that is compatible with the process food is, is preferred. Soft water, if compatible with processed fluid, can be used at room temperature or reduced temperatures for low vacuum applications. Please subscribe to our channel and get updates on the upcoming courses by pressing the subscribe button. It will motivate us to produce free knowledge rich video content for you. With this we have come to the end of the presentation. Please give your comments if any about this course after you finished viewing this video. Share with your friends and colleagues to reach out to large number of career oriented professional students. Thank you for watching.